Welcome to another Nonsense Wars production. This video is on a GBC module that has featured in other videos, but not had its own. This is what Jay and I have been calling the quote-unquote not scissor lift. It is similar in principle to a scissor lift, but not quite. As far as I can tell, this is an original design. The lift is made up of two four bar linkages joined on the front side. The two links are geared together at one corner such that actuating the bottom link also drives the top link and together these move the lifting platform directly upward rather than in a curve. The loading platform and the lifting platform both have simple weighted gates that open downward and control the flow of balls. These gates open when the lifting platform reaches the top or bottom of its travel and they close as the lifting platform moves away. Tuning the weights on these gates was troublesome. They need to be able to hold back a full lifting and loading ramp of balls, but still be easy to open. The actuator on the lower link is connected by a pair of rubber bands on each side. This is basically a shortcut for the ratio and offset gear stages in my extensible tower module. The rubber bands allow the crank and the actuator to have different lengths of travel and different start and end points. There is the additional benefit here that the stretching and tracting of the rubber bands at the top and bottom of the lift's travel enable it to have some dwell time, uh, ensuring that the balls are fully loaded and unloaded. Also, LEGO has a lot of slop in moving connections, and this complicates building linkages like this one. Uh, you can see this manifest in the lift. It does not move straight up and down as it should in theory, uh, it tilts slightly backward instead. If the lift doesn't compensate for the slop, it will top out at different heights depending on how much it is loaded, and it will not unload the balls properly. The final purpose of the rubber bands is to literally pull the slop out of the mechanism at the top of the travel uh, such that it always tops out at the same height. The last component of this lift is the gearbox. In this video, the lift is running off an e-motor at about three-quarter speed. The motor is connected with the standard two-pin pattern, so this can run off an M motor or even one of the new small powered-up motors if need be. From the motor, there are four reduction stages with a net gear ratio of about 1 to 50. Ultimately, this module actually has very high throughput when the E motor is running at full speed. Uh, perhaps too much such that the M motor may be more appropriate. That being said, this is the end of the commentary. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day.